गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीवन स्टूडेंट्स आवर फर्स्ट लेसन क्रॉप प्रोडिक्शन इज इन प्रोग्रेस दिस क्लास फॉर द एट क्लास एंड इन द क्रॉप प्रोडिक्शन वी हैव टॉक अबाउट लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स सो लेट अस टेक ए क्विक रिवीजन व्हिच वी हैव स्टडीड इन आवर प्रीवियस क्लासेस द फर्स्ट थिंग व्हिच वी हैव डिस्कस्ड वी हैव ऑलरेडी स्टडीड इन आवर प्रीवियस क्लासेस दैट इज नंबर वन एग्रीकल्चर what is agriculture second thing various things which improves the agriculture third thing agriculture in ancient time how the agriculture is done in ancient time the next thing is there uh, about uh, varieties of crops on the basis of their growth that i have already told you about cereals about medicinal plant about fruits about uh, vegetables etc etc after that we have talked about uh, uh, various uh, types of crops based on the seasons like ravi crop kharif crop jai crop right so jai crop you know na another name is also there which for a crop is called cash crops jai crop all these things we have already discussed after that several steps for agricultural practices i have told you i have told you the name of all those steps like preparing the soil number 1 number 2 adding manure and fertilizer number 3 sowing the seed number 4 after sowing the seed irrigation number 5 uh, weeding and uh, production number 6 harvesting the crop number 7 storage so these are the several steps for agricultural practices out of that we have already completed the first step i have explained that is preparation of the soil how you are preparing the soil that is with the help of by doing the plowing by plowing uh, you are preparing the soil and for plowing purpose several equipment sites that we have already discussed yesterday the number one is there cultivator number two is there plow number three is there hoe and number four is also there so in this manner four equipment are there just for uh, plowing the field they are helping in plowing the field uh, fourth one is labeler is there after that i have talked about manuring manuring is the second step manuring is process in which we are adding manure and fertilizers manure and fertilizer we are adding into the soil that is called manuring and why we are doing manuring and why we are adding manure and fertilizer into the soil for the growth of the plant for the development of the plant we are adding manure and fertilizer into the soil and for that purpose i have already told you about one activity also yesterday and according to that activity i have told you we have taken three pots a second b this one c c ye c आपने डाला सीड इन दिस आई एम एडिंग मैन्यूर इन दिस फर्टिलाइजर इन दिस नथिंग यू विल सी ग्रोथ and development in a and in b pot you will not see any growth and development in c pot so in this manner i have told you yesterday about connectivity which shows that why manuring is necessary for the plant manuring is necessary for the uh, growth and development of the plant so for manuring purpose two things are used the first one is manure we are going to talk what is manure 
actually in plants in two manner you can supply the nutrients with the help of the soil because the root of the plant is absorbing nutrient from the soil all those nutrients are added into the soil and they can be added with the help of two things number one manure and manure is what it is the natural manner it is the natural thing which we are adding into the soil natural substance made by decomposition of cattle dung it is the substance which we are preparing with the help of cattle dung human waste and plant residue human waste and plant residue matlab gai ka gobar bhais ka gobar like that human waste plant residue matlab leaves detritus which you say all these things naturally mixing into the soil and become the soil adding nutrient to the soil and that soil become fertile because of that so decomposition of all those things is are done with the help of microorganism in our next chapter we will learn about the microorganisms only during that time i will tell you how the microorganism is going to convert those uh, cattle dung human waste plant residue into the nutrients manure obtained by natural resource because we are getting it naturally from the animals from the human beings that's why it is called what natural natural source it may be prepared by composting and vermi composting means we can also prepare this manure with the help of earthworm you know earthworm also prepare uh, compost with a with a several method that method is called what vermi composting method so that i have told you composting and vermi composting next thing is there fertilizer second one is there fertilizers what are the fertilizer it is a man made thing it is prepared artificially with the help of chemicals in the factories for the large production means for a small production you can use manure it can supply the nutrient but for the large production you will not get that much manure and it will not be beneficial also so for that purpose for the large Uh, for the cultivation in large area in large field fertilizers are required and those fertilizers are prepared artificially with the help of chemicals like uh, phosphate and nitrate and uh, some common are uh, called with some names that is urea potash super phosphate इन नेम से आप मार्केट में ले सकते हैं इन फर्टिलाइजर्स को अमोनियम फॉस्फेट एनपीके एनपीके मतलब नाइट्रोजन फास्फोरस पोटेशियम सो ऑल दीस थिंग्स एनपीके इज ऑलवेज प्रेजेंट इन फर्टिलाइजर्स इन आर्टिफिशियल फर्टिलाइजर्स दीस आर द केमिकल्स नाइट्रोजन फास्फोरस पोटेशियम ऑल दीस आर प्रिपेयरिंग व्हाट विद दे आर ऑल chemicals that's why that is called artificial so fertilizers are artificial in nature now the next thing is the difference between manure and fertilizers what are the differences between manure and fertilizer how we can differentiate between manure and fertilizers so this table i have prepared and with the help of this table we will know about the differences between manure and fertilizers so let us take the view of this manure as i have already told you that manure is natural why it is called natural because we are getting it from the plants and from the animal it is natural because we are getting it from the resources like plants and animals and it is we are getting it from the cow uh, from the animals dung human excreta 
and from the plants all those parts of the plants becomes detritus so that's why it is called what natural but fertilizer it is made from chemicals this thing also i have already explained earlier in fertilizer portion only that uh, all the fertilizers are prepared chemically and those chemicals are nitrate and phosphate so ammonium nitrogen phosphorus and potassium like these chemicals are present in preparing those fertilizers so in this manner fertilizers are called man made or artificial in nature so we will call here completely if you will write down here we will write down like this it is natural in uh, source because we are getting it from animals and plants it is man made uh, because it is artificial because it is made from chemicals second thing it improves manure we are talking we are talking here about the manures it improve soil texture and water retention capacity becomes better means it improves soil texture means it improves the quality of the soil and also the uh, uh, also the leveling of the soil and it also increase the absorb water absorbing capacity of the soil means the soil which is getting manure that will absorb more water that can absorb more water suppose any soil is there uh, that is absorbing 1 liter water if that much portion of the soil will get manure so it will start absorbing 5 liter or 6 liter water it means water absorbing capacity will be increased next thing is there fertilizer it does not improve soil texture fertilizer never improves soil texture third one is there it is less rich in nutrients manure is so less rich in nutrients nutrients means what nutrients of the plants nutrients for the plants means the things required by the plants for its growth and development that is called nutrients and manure is so rich in nutrient for providing them. fertilizers are also rich in nutrients but those nutrients are nitrogen phosphorus and potassium you are able to see all these three names nitrogen by which in each and every uh, fertilizer nitrogen is must if nitrogen is not there it means that is not the fertilizer and uh, this is phosphorus this is potassium all these nutrients are present which are absorbed by the plants for its growth and development next the fourth point point is there it increases soil friendly microbes means if in any soil you are adding naturally manure so microorganisms will be more there microorganisms means what which converts uh, soil uh, which uh, which increases soil fertility fourth point is there it does not add any microbes means fertilizers do not add any microbe in any after that fifth point is there it makes the soil porous and helps in easy exchange of gases means what manure always helps in loosening of the soil so the roots of the plant can penetrate deep into the soil can absorb more water and nutrient also get oxygen in easy manner and fertilizers do not next next thing less expensive and biodegradable manure is less expensive and biodegradable fertilizers are more expensive 
एंड नॉन बायोडिग्रेडेबल ये कम खर्चीला होता है और बायोडिग्रेडेबल होता है मींस व्हिच कैन बी मिक्स्ड इनटू द सोइल बैक मिक्स्ड इनटू द नेचर बैक बट इट इज एक्सपेंसिव मींस कॉस्टली एंड रिक्वायर मोर मनी एंड इट इज नॉन बायोडिग्रेडेबल नॉन बायोडिग्रेडेबल मींस व्हिच डू नॉट कन्वर्ट into the natural cycle which do not again come back into the natural cycle that is uh, means which do not get decomposed non biodegradable means which do not get decomposed by the microbes that is called non biodegradable so for today it's enough students and for today let me give you some homework also try to find out the answer of that uh, those questions which i am providing now question number 1 What is manure? Question number two. Which chemicals chemicals are present? in fertilizer name one or two question number 3 give three differences between manure and so these are the questions try to find out the answer of them if you will not be able to find out the answer of them tomorrow i will explain all the answers uh, for these questions and this is homework for you so thank you very much students